test for the convergence of the series 1 plus 3 by 7 x plus 3 by 6 by 7 into 10 x square plus 3 into 6 into 9 by 7 into 10 into 13 x cube plus so on where x is greater than 0. See here they are given first term, second term, third term, fourth term sum of the series. Are they given nth term in the series? No. So we have to find out the nth term. For this observe the series this is the fourth term. Na? So if you remove this last term in the fourth last product uh, in the fourth you have you see 3 dot 3 into 6 by 7 into 10 is it contained in second term yes Be previous term yes now here 3 into 7 it is containing now you remove 3 in 3 by 7 here 0 is there here now extra what you have 1 so is this one belongs to enter this series to write the nth term means is it required this term no so like this sometimes uh, they will give one or two extra terms we can neglect this Terms. then you can write the nth term freely now from the last term you see this is 3 into 6 into 9 we have to write the nth term third term 1 2 3 third term is containing product of three terms what about the nth term it contain product of n terms this is a repeated series form so now nth term we want to write now for that what they given 3 6 9 so what is the common difference here in each term 3 so write on 3 n put n is equal to 1 this is 3 put n is equal to 2 3 into 2 6 put n is equal to 3 3 into 3 9 satisfied so nth term is in the numerator 3 n now governing for the denominator it is 3 you have it is 7 10 13 so common difference is here 3 here 3 ok common difference is 3 so you have to write again 3 n 3n only but here you see what is the first term here 3 but here you have 7 so add 4 for this now check it check this term is the nth term for the denominator or not we have to verify put n is equal to 2 3 into 2 6 6 plus 4 10 n is equal to 3 3 into 3 9 9 plus 4 13 yes. so this is the our nth term since x greater than 0 and this numerator and denominator both are past 2 so this series is a series of past 2 terms now it is in repeated series form. So you cannot apply like a limit comparison test, geometric series test, P series test. So we have to go for ratio test. In the ratio test you required to find the limit of un by un plus 1. So un plus 1 I want. Earlier we discussed na, this is repeated series form. So this contain nth term also. So 3 into 6 into 9 so on 3n. What is the next term? How you write the next term is common difference is what you have 3. So add 3 for this. And for this also you add for 3, then you will have a 3n plus 4 into 3n plus 7. Now I want un by un plus 1, un by un plus 1, you see what is the common terms you have up to nth term. Na? So in the numerator up to 3n getting cancelled, in the denominator up to 3n plus 4 getting cancelled. Remaining you have x to the power of n by x power n plus 1 becomes x power n, x power n getting cancelled, 1 by x is the letter. This denominator term 1 by 3n plus 3 by 3n plus 7, na? reciprocal if you written 3n plus 7 by 3n plus 3 you will have. No apply the limit on both sides. Limit intends to infinite. This is the coefficient is here n power 1, n power 1. Both numerator and denominator have the same degree. So as n tends to infinity you will get here coefficients that is 3 by 3 into 1 by x. 3 by 3 into 1 by x. Which 3 by 3 getting cancelled you will have 1 by x. 1 by x is a limit. Of course you can do one more thing. Take n common. Then you will have 3 plus 7 by n. 3 plus 3 by n. n n cancel. As n tends to infinite 1 by n goes to 0, so 3 plus 0 by 3 plus 0, which gives same only. Okay. Now, this is L. You don't know x, but they are given x is greater than 0. If x greater than 0 means 1 by x is maybe greater than 1 or less than 1. Okay. Or else maybe is equal to also. No? So, you have a different chances here. If greater than 1, what we can say, if it is greater than 1, limit is greater than 1. If less than 1, the series is less than 1. 1 by x is, uh, sorry, 1 by x is less than 1. So by ratio test, if L greater than 1, that is 1 by X greater than 1, series is convergent. If 1 by X less than 1, series is divergent. Now, X is equal to 1 maybe, na? so put 1 by X is equal to 1 in this case. That implies X is equal to 1. Where we have to substitute X is equal to 1 means entire in the given series. The given series is what here? This one. Even. 3, 6, 9, so on, 3, n by 7, 10, 13 
into 3 n plus 4 into x to the power of n. Put x is equal to 1. Again, what you have now? This is the our series. Just you don't have x term. Now again, it is in repeated series form. Now. So what you have to do? You need to find out u n plus 1. Yes, this will become a u n plus 1. Now u n by u n plus 1, if you are done, then you will have this one. So whenever the given series in repeated series form, directly you substitute x value in u n by u n plus 1. If you substituted u n by in u n by u n plus 1, you will have like a limit n tends to infinite this n n getting cancelled again you will have instead of 1 x here we have to substitute now x value is 1 so 3 by 3 3 by 3 is equal to what 1 3 by 3 is equal to 1 that is l is equal to 1 so in the ratio test if limit is equal to 1 what we can say it is fails ratio test is fails so we have to go for rabbit test because the limit does not contain e now, in the rabbit test, we need to find a n into u n by u n plus 1 minus 1. So, that is equal to n into, what is u n by u n plus 1? We have 3 n plus 7 by 3 n plus 3 minus 1. LCM is here, 3 n plus 3. Now, this will become 3 n plus 7 minus 3 n plus 3. So, this 3 n, 3 n getting cancelled. 7 minus 3 will become 4. 4 into outside you have n. So, this is 4 into n. Now, numerator and denominator both have a nth term. Right, so limiting on both sides, limit n tends to infinite uh, taking on both sides, then it will happen. The numerator and denominator have the both uh, same degree. In this case, you will get the coefficient is coefficient as a limit that is 4 by 3. Or else you can take n is a common, n and getting cancelled. This is 3 by n goes to 0 as n tends to infinite. So finally, you will have 4 by 3. This 4 by 3 is a limit which is greater than 1. Therefore, summation un is convergent. Uh, but we can say when the limit is greater than 1, now we are doing our in Rabbit's test now. So if L greater than 1, series is convergent by Rabbit's test. So finally what we can say means the series is convergent for 1 by x greater than 1, less than 1 divergent. Is equal to 1 also convergent, that is why you are written 1 by x is greater than or is equal to 1 convergent, 1 by x less than 1 is divergent. This is the Rabbit's test method.